So this has been a big project in theoretical physics over the last uh, few decades, is trying to understand how we can take Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics and make them meld together in a mathematically and physically consistent manner. The, it's tricky in part because there's very little experimental guidance, because general relativity tends to make itself at, felt at large scales, quantum mechanics at small scales, and so trying to find a place where they meet in the middle, I mean, it must be that they do meet, but that trying to drag that out with experiment is very tricky. But this has been a big project, is trying to figure out how to do this. Einstein spent some years unsuccessfully doing this in the later, less productive part of his career. And uh, this project of trying to unite these is something that a lot of people have thought a lot about. The string theory comes out of this, uh, this project, a number of other lines of thought. There is, however, one fact about that merger that we are most confident about, mm -hmm. about anything about the merger, and that exactly returns to this question of how much information can you store in a given region of space-time.